Well, growing up, Christine Darden had a passion for math and a knack for physics. Still, she never imagined she'd be working for NASA. And that's exactly what happened. Not only did her career soar, Christine blazed a trail of opportunity for others. Russia orbits Sputnik 1, the Earth's first man-made satellite. The year is 1957. Russia had just launched into space Sputnik. It came as a shock to many Americans, including a 16-year-old named Christine Darden. Soviet fires Earth satellite into space. It has circled the globe at 18,000 miles an hour. We were afraid that the Russians were flying over us and might drop a bomb. Although afraid of war like many at the time, Christine, a high school senior, had no interest in being a part of America's space race. Her dream was to be a mathematician. At the same time I realized that math was a passion, I also realized how much I enjoyed physical science. And, and that led on to the physics also. As a child, her inquisitive nature had her dismantling a doll her mother had given her. Well, the doll talked. What's inside that doll that's making it talk? By the time she was attending Hampton University, Christine was undaunted as a student. Taking six math classes at one time, she was often the only woman in a classroom full of men. Her faith and determination pushed her forward. Things in the Bible helped me live the life and, and believe that God can help me do certain things and work with me in, in certain ways. Well, how can I take six math courses? As she worked to complete a degree in mathematics, her father encouraged her to get a teaching certificate. Because dad thought I wouldn't get a job otherwise. I think my mind turned to people are not hiring African-American mathematicians, maybe because African-Americans weren't becoming mathematicians. With some notable exceptions, including three African-American women who were mathematicians working across town at NASA. They had not only broken the racial barrier, they had helped put a man in space. And Katherine Johnson's daughter was my classmate there. One of the hidden figures depicted in the movie based on Margot Lee Shetterly's book, Katherine Johnson also helped put a man on the moon. Still, Christine hadn't considered she could one day work at NASA. So, she graduated and began teaching mathematics. And the students tell me when I talk that they can hear the passion in my voice. She didn't stay in one place long. Her love for numbers had her driving 80 miles on the weekends to Petersburg to take upper level math courses at Virginia State University. It was there that her hard work and talent were recognized. She was hired as a research assistant for the head of the physics department. Now married, Christine and her husband Walter, who was pursuing his own career, began working on their master's degrees. I was headed toward graduation. I went by the placement office at Virginia State. A chance meeting with a woman who worked in the placement office would propel her into a profession she had never considered. I don't think I had thought about that. It just, I hadn't even thought about NASA being here. She said, where have you been? Didn't you know NASA was here recruiting yesterday? You fill out this application, I'm going to mail it in tomorrow. I want this back in the morning. And she sent it in, and two and a half weeks later, I had an offer from NASA. Christine was among the last of the so-called human computers or data analysts to be hired at NASA. It didn't take long before she wanted to do more. I brought up the issue of why is the male with the math degree doing the engineering and the female with the math degree drawing a curve? which is what I was doing at first. And that was when I went to the director and said, why is it that you're not treating the same backgrounds with the same kinds of jobs? You're giving people who have pretty much the same background, but you're giving them vastly different jobs. I left his office and that was when I got promoted. I got transferred. Now an aerospace engineer, Christine became an internationally known expert in high-speed aerodynamics and sonic booms, specifically by writing a computer program on sonic boom minimization. When a plane is flying supersonically, a conical form shapes on the nose of the airplane. And all of the disturbances, shocks coming off the airplane, the molecules that get pushed out of the way and everything, all stop at the edge of this cone. 
She also became the first African-American woman to be promoted to the senior executive service. During her 40 years at NASA, she's been recognized for many awards and honors, including being written about as the fourth hidden figure. At 81 years old and ever learning, Christine continues to work on math problems. Wonder what else we can do in this world with math that hasn't been done. I hope that story of Christine just inspires you that yes, indeed, you can overcome whatever obstacles are in your way and you can achieve your dreams. If you looked at the pictures of her high school, she was in a segregated school. Uh, this was before Brown versus Board of Education became the law of the land. It took a long time after 1954 for that to really happen. But she, in spite of all those obstacles, being a woman and being an expert in math, is that's a hard way to go. And then being African-American and, and now all the discrimination in this society. But she still achieved. What enabled her to do that? Her faith in God that God would make a way for her, that God always wants to do good things for his children. He always wants to give us good things. When you have that mindset, yes, indeed, you can become an overcomer. You can be a more than a conqueror because of the love of Christ given to you. Let her story inspire you and also look, look at what happened in her life the people that reached back to help her, and then she reaching back to educate people and to, and to bring them into the fullness of their gifting. Do the same thing. Look around you. Who can you help achieve their dream, their vision? How can you help God in this wonderful process where we're all in it together? It's wonderful. That's a great story. I recommend it. Copy that and send it to other people who need encouragement today.